anywhere. 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 Anytime. I have a story. We went. Me and H went to Toronto last summer, 20, 2019, and we're at an NBA game. So there's oh. thousands of there's like twenty thousand people in the arena. It's not a stadium. It's obviously an arena, so it's closer together. So <laughs> and obviously between every play, like obviously people come from the on the court and do like different things and like have people speaking over their announcers. So it's loud. And I'm watching the game. Obviously, people are jumping like when, when people make baskets and that. Look to my left, H. <laughs> X. Just sleep. Just sleep. Just sleep. It, was, it, was, it was the Eastern Conference Finals as well. Can you imagine? Yeah, it, was, it was like the first time. <laughs> so. Forty two five eight back here again. Uh, this one we're gonna give you. Um, you know, kind of like what goes in, in the mind of some footballers. Um, we're going to start with, uh, we're going to start with outside of football edition. So um, this one is, you know, done in a group as we're all friends, a brotherhood. We kind of know each other quite well. So um, I'm going to ask who I'm going to go with first. I'm going to go with Faye. Who has the best dress sense? Out of everybody in the Zoom call, and if you want an mm-hmm. honourable mention of anybody who's in our brotherhood who's not in the Zoom call, then you can give them. I have to say, um, I think we're going to be upset though. <laughs> <laughs> it's one name. It's, it's, it's one name. It's one name. Nah, I'll say. I'll say H, because H H dresses similar to me, like not too like. Like simple, but like do you know what I mean, stylish. Dan as well. Reese, no, you all kind of just similar. Jordan, you're you're outlandish. You're different. To me. <laughs> but I will I will give an honourable mention to someone that's not here. I will say Ben because Ben likes designer. Though. Ben likes designer clothes, so he's but his designer different. swag. His designer swag. No, not not necessarily swag, but like he Ben dresses nice. Like Ben, Ben, I, I like Ben. I'll give an honourable mention to Ben. Every, everyone scrubs up. Everyone, everyone scrubs up well. Everyone scrubs up well. Um, I'm just gonna go around the group one by one. So, Reese, say say your name. Hey, say your name. And Dan, say your name. For me, it's H, but simply because I've always thought he was older than us, so he's always been one step ahead. So, <laughs> <laughs> he's had the fashion the year ahead. That's what I feel like. So when I when I see him wearing stuff, I'll see everyone wearing that. Like in a few weeks' time, a few months' time, it's so cool. So for that default reason, yeah, H. It's going to H then. So you know what? I'm gonna give it to Dan. You know, Dan needs to come to the training ground with some new pieces. I'll be like, Dan, where'd you get that from? He'll take me Zara on the Saturday after football. He didn't hit me Zara on that Saturday after football and show me new things. Like I didn't know about Giuseppe before Dan and that. Like, Dan showed me the French swag. Uh, <laughs> Dan showed me I remember he had things them, and I was he had like, them, oh. he had them red ones, them red books. Dan had some yeah, Dan had Dan had even Dan made runners look cool. Dan was wearing these these um these flying knit chukas. Dan made them look swaggy. So I was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna everywhere though, man. That was my gym yeah, shoes, out in shoes, shirt. I'm going to give it to Oods. Like, Oods, I'll be like, yo, Dan, let me borrow that hoodie. Yo. That, that hoodie's clean still. Let me borrow that hoodie. So, yeah, I'm going to give it to Dan. Dan Dan showed me on a few pieces. Dan Dan showed me Zara. And all. Dan made Zara look like Balmain. Oh, cheers. <laughs> I'm with cheers. Reece as well. I'm with Reese on H being the best dress. And um, I remember when I went out and I seen Van Dyke out. And he had this turtleneck piece, and I, was, I said, I said, yeah, which one of us dresses like that? H has been on that flex for a while. The, the big, you know, the big coat. I don't know what you lot call it, the trench coat. Trench coat, yeah. yeah. Yeah, H had that since school time, since year nine. H used to wear oh, that, the jungle coat. jacket with the crusting like that. Walking to, you'd think he was like sixth form, and we yeah, were in year nine them times. So, yeah, man, he's. As we said, he's ahead. Uh, next question. Um, who would you say? It's a it's a two part question. Who's got who's got the funniest laugh, and who is the funniest? 
I, I, I'll go on that. The funniest, the, to me, it's not the funniest laugh. It's the most painful laugh. So <laughs> if they're together and they start laughing at you, it's not nice. Yeah. <laughs> There's only they're one person. Brett yeah. and Tay, when they get together and they <laughs> laugh at you, it's not the one. Don't be there. And yeah, they, it's long. They, it's so they, long. They do it to Ben a lot. And I feel sorry for Ben when they start laughing at him. <laughs> I can vouch for that. Definitely. And Rex, Rex is the funniest. You don't even have, Rex, Rex doesn't even have to say anything. I just look at him and, and laugh because you just, you know he's thinking something funny. <laughs> yeah, Rex is our boy. Um, he plays football as well, but he just plays for, basically for fun. I actually think he's quite good. Like, he could go places, but I don't think he takes it seriously enough. Um, yeah, Faye, I'll, I'll go to you last, but H, you, <laughs> who would you say? It uh, makes you laugh. I'll co sign with Dan, and, uh, Dan on that one. With, when, when Faye and Rex are together, yeah, it's carnage. You're, you're in for a roast. You're in for a big, big roast. Um, <laughs> David Tatunda kills me. You could be with David, and the stuff he comes out with. Oh my days! I'll be I'll be crying like, crying fully like, yeah. And yeah, he's, I think it's the Congolese thing. Them lot are funny, man. But yeah, Dave. Dave I say Dave's the funniest. He's the funny man out of the group. Yeah, Dave plays for Barnet, and he's from he's in our brotherhood friendship group. And um, yeah, Dave's a character, man. Faye, so what you got to say for yourself, man? Why are you? Uh, why are you roasted the guys? Nah, just I don't know what they're talking about to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just I don't know. Me and Rex just bounce with each other for some reason. But I would say the funniest is um, I say Rex, and then Dave has the funniest laugh. Like he he laughs like he's <laughs> out of breath. He goes, <gasps> <laughs> oh, I really does that. I die. That Dave is. <laughs> His laugh, his laugh makes me laugh. He's one of the people when he laughs, it makes me laugh. Um, but yeah, say so Rex and Dave. Let's talk about driving. Um, who's who's the best driver? Uh, like, who do you want to be in the car with, and who you don't want to be in the car with because they drive so slow? I'll say Reese. Reese is a safe driver. I'm. I've always feel safe with Reese. I'll say that. I feel safe with Reese, and then. Nah, everyone's a pretty good driver. Probably you, Jordan. Back in the <laughs> That's what back I was day, You yeah. used to be like F1 wow. in the one season. <laughs> so, Jordan, even my dad, my dad's scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jordan back in the day was 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 a uh, was you need you need seatbelt for that one. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, that's me. Reese, Reese is the safest. Jordan, you're the most you give a you give a heart attack. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm definitely the best driver, Lewis Hamilton, you know. But, um, yeah, so you're in the car, let's say, for example, and, um, you know, you're kind of tired of your own playlist. Um, so you either got Bluetooth or AUX. Who's that guy you're going to, you know, give the AUX or Bluetooth to for, you know, their playlist? Who's got the best taste in music out of us guys? I'd give it... <sighs> I think I might have to give this one to Faye because me and Faye we've got like the similar similar taste in music, so I, I'd have to give it to Faye. You know, he's got the he's got Afro beats on there, he's got some soul in there, some hip hop, R and B, min, min, minimal bashment. Unlike Reese, Reese is a real yard man. So Jordan just plays Chris Brown, and then Dan just plays French music that I don't understand. So <laughs> Dan don't understand the evil, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll give it to Faye. Faye, Faye, I'll let him take care of the, the DJ at my, my party. He take to take care of the music. Yeah, Dan. So what, uh, obviously your brother, he's he's born in France. Um, how does how does French music relate to you and to him? Um, it's just the beat, isn't it? It's almost like. It's the closest thing to Afrobeat, so because most of them singers are like Senegalese or Congolese, so when you hear them singing with their beat, you don't understand. You don't have to understand it to make you dance and that. But 
anyways, um, if I was given music, I like I like Ben's music. You know, he keeps he has the same sort of playlist, and I'm the same I'm, playlist I'm, I'm like though. The same, yeah, I I like the same music. I'm not unless something new comes out that is sick, then I'll jump on that. But I'm the same sort of music. I've been playing the same thing since 2010. I still listen to some songs that I listen to in youth team days. So. Okay. What about you, Reese? They're, they're talking about you know, you, you know, yard man, this and that, but <laughs> they don't really respect the music. You know what I mean? Nah, it's not for everyone. Personally, obviously, I like Bashmuk, but out of the man them, I'll probably Ben or Cole. Like when I've been on the way to parties with them. Them too. If they're not arguing about cussing people's dads, they're playing good <laughs> music. So <laughs> it's one of them two. Cole Ben, yeah. Probably Ben because he's got a wide range from old school to new school. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So Faye, you've got Dennis like basically fans, half fans the votes. Then as fans, he entertains on Snapchat. So that's why his music yeah. has to be on point. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Uh, Faye, so um, who right now is kind of, you know, tickling your phone? Who's, whose music's getting you are you ready for what you need to be doing? Well, just listen to the Young Fog and Chris Brown album. Oh, just, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that, my it's, it's a very good album. So oh, that's what I'm going to listen to for the next, probably probably this whole week, like from now till probably next week, listen to that album. Oh, crazy. That's that's my song in there. Yeah, I love the that. second song. Yeah, the second song and the third song. <coughs> um, yeah, and the third track back. Oh, yeah, yes, lads. That album is gonna be staying close to me the next couple of days. Let's talk about um, things that people won't know about each other. Probably will only know about each other um, watching this. So, who has like a guilty pleasure, or who does something and it's just a bit different? Like somebody might do something and they're known for doing that one thing, and it might get on your nerves. It might just be funny. Um, who does that? I'll, I'll give an example. Um, Faye, Faye gets dressed so slow. <laughs> <laughs> You get dressed so slow, like, uh, like a snail. Like, there's no one, there's no one who takes his time more than you. When you're outside, or you know, you're on your way to him, you know that you gotta be 20 minutes or 30 minutes behind the time he says he's gonna be ready for. So, who, who's who's that guy um, where they do something and they're just known for it, basically. I, I, can, I can say for myself, the only thing I could say for myself is that I like sweets and everyone knows that. And everyone gets mm. on to like that. That's the only thing that I I will happily hold my hands up and say that is what I do and I own it. That is it. Love sausage. Faye loves sausage. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that. Oi, 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 you've seen days, yeah. <laughs> you've seen days. Faye used to drive into training. Yeah, and it'll come out with a sausage every time. If they didn't come out with a sausage, you're going back in to get a tissue to put a sausage on it. Oh, every morning. Don't no, forget the syrup. Don't forget the syrup. You put syrup on everything. Okay, so H, you know I'm not lying. Thank you. Yeah, don't forget the syrup. <laughs> you used to do it in training. It, it was the weirdest thing. It would have what? toast. It would do, do toast. Poach egg, and then you'll get honey and put it all over it. Yeah, but that does work though. It is, it is good. Everyone tried it. That has wow. it since then. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. It's, it's nice. It's nice. It's Thank nice. Wow. It's like... Everyone says before they try it, and then afterwards, they think unbelievable. What is that? Mine would just be <clears throat> the the bass of Rex's voice. Like I know if there's a joke, and if he gets on it. Then wherever we are, the train, the restaurant, wherever we are, everyone's gonna know about it. Because if he starts laughing, that's it. So especially Faye's the instigator. So if he can get Rex to laugh and the deep voice, you're the brother of the joke. It's long. It's very long. I'd say for me, um, 
it's probably my snoring, you know, my snoring oh, is so wow. bad. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> my snoring is so bad. Like, I remember as a youth team player, we went on a trip, funny enough, to Shrewsbury, for, like, and we were doing just like some like team bonding and all that sort of stuff. So I must have been sleeping and Faye and Dan, another one of our lads or one of our friends from in the team, they were recording me sleeping and they were holding my, my nostrils together and trying to kill me whilst I was sleeping. Yeah, you don't want to share a room with me like, yeah, um, <laughs> Snorlax, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you can fall asleep yeah. anywhere as well. Yeah. You can fall asleep anywhere. Anywhere, <laughs> anywhere, anytime. I have a story. We went, me and H went to Toronto last summer, 20, <laughs> 2019. Two years ago, two years ago. 2018. I think it was this summer just gone. 2019. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Last summer, yeah. And we're at an NBA game. So there's oh. thousands of there's like 20,000 people in the arena. It's not a stadium, it's obviously an arena, so it's closer together. So. <laughs> And obviously, every team, every play, like, obviously, people come from the, on the court and do, like, different things and, like, have people speaking over their announcers. So, it's loud. And I'm watching the game. Obviously, people are jumping, like, when, when people make baskets and that. Look to my left. H. <laughs> X. Sleep. Did you sleep? It's a sleep. It was, it was the Eastern Conference Finals as well. Can you imagine? Yeah, but it was, like, the first time. You know, the final, so... The whole city was jumping, but H. <laughs> 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 the, <laughs> the, the, thing, the thing about that is I wanted to go to like one of them games as well and tickets are like tickets are like two hundred dollars or two hundred and fifty dollars or something and yeah, that's yeah. like, like hundred and fifty hundred and fifty pound minimum. And you know, everyone wants to be there, but H is just sleeping. Just uh it's a tough <laughs> <one>. <laughs> That's them, them memes. That's funny, man. Cool. Um, oh, another thing, another thing I got, another thing I got, and this is for Mitchy of the Reese in the corner. Oh, Reese, yeah. <laughs> Reese was renowned for wearing shoes or boots that were too small for him. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in there. I, I used to like the state, the no creases in my Air Forces. <laughs> Bang them. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Reese. Reese, is, Reese is known for diving as well. Diving. Oh, yeah. yeah. Diver. That's, I don't know what they're talking about with that one. That one's made up. <laughs> That's what Reese is known for. He's actually, uh, many... actually, he's actually mastered it. I remember one like one time we were playing Power League and I actually pulled Reese to the side. I was like, how like, how do you actually win fouls? Because I did never get fouls. <laughs> so, like, I actually wanted to know. I actually wanted to learn like how to win fouls. He and won a few pens at Chesterfield as well. Give some tips and... I want to come yeah. for the next season, so, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> for more content like this, like, share and subscribe.